Hi everyone, welcome to Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the difference between qualitative, quantitative, and mixed method research. First of all, it is important for you as a researcher why it is important to understand the difference between these three types of research. Of course, it will help you to uh, have the better understanding of the research process and the design more effective research studies in your area of research. It helps you to understand the research in more comprehensive way and draw more accurate conclusions in the end. Additionally, it helps you to evaluate the strengths and limitations of the different research methods and to make more informed decisions about which method to use in different research contexts. Furthermore, it also helps you to interpret the research findings, which is crucial for decision making in various fields such as healthcare, education, and business. Let's discuss these types one by one. First of all, we have qualitative research. Qualitative research is type of research that is focused on understanding the meanings, experiences, and perspectives of individuals or groups. It often involves collecting data through the methods such as interviews, focus groups, observations, and document analysis. The goal of qualitative research is to gain a deep understanding of particular phenomena or topic. One of the main strengths of qualitative research is that it allows for in-depth exploration of complex phenomena. It can provide a rich and detailed understanding of the subject matter and can reveal the underlying meanings and motivations of individuals or groups. Additionally, qualitative research often allows for the inclusion of a diverse range of participants and perspectives, which can increase the generalizability of the findings of your research. However, there are also some limitations to qualitative research. One of the main criticism is that it is often subjective and open to interpretations, which can lead to researcher bias. Additionally, qualitative research is often time consuming and resource intensive, which can be a limitation for researchers with limited funding or time constraints. Let's have a discussion about quantitative research. It focuses on measuring and quantifying variables. It often involves collecting data through the methods such as surveys, experiments, and statistical analysis. The goal of quantitative research is to identify patterns, relationships, and trends in the data. One of the main strengths of the quantitative research is that it allows for statistical analysis, which can reveal the patterns and trends in the data. Additionally, quantitative research is often considered to be more objective and less prone to researcher bias than the qualitative research. However, there are some limitations to quantitative research as well. One of the main criticism is that it is often focused on specific variables and can miss the broader context and complexity of the phenomena being studied. Additionally, quantitative research can be limited by lack of diversity in the participants and perspectives, which can reduce the generalizability of the findings. Finally, let's have the discussion about mixed method research. It's a combination of both qualitative and quantitative research methods. It can be either concurrent or sequential in nature. Concurrent mixed methods research is when both methods are used at the same time, while sequential mixed methods research is when one method is used first and then other method. The advantage of mixed method research is that it allows the researchers to use the strengths of each method to compensate for the weakness of both qualitative and quantitative research methods. And two, triangulate the findings which can increase the validity and reliability of the study. 
In order to understand this mixed method approach, we can have the example. A researcher might use a survey to gather quantitative data on a particular topic and then use in-depth interviews to gain a more, uh, more deep understanding of the participants' experiences and perspectives. In this way, the researcher can use the quantitative data to identify patterns and trends and qualitative data to provide a more in-depth understanding of the phenomena being studied. And uh, of course, mixed method research allows the researchers to use the strength of both the qualitative and quantitative research. So in that way, it can increase the validity and reliability of the study. I hope this video will be helpful for you to understand the difference between these three types of research. Thanks for watching.